As the guy who made all the commercials for Marcus's Bean Burritos, he has contracted me to be the very first person to taste an actual Marcus's Bean Burrito. That's right. He finally made them real. They're finally a real product. So we are here at Scenic Gross Old Gaming Chair. There's some uh, foam in there. There's some dust, a lot of dead skin cells. This is the best hotel he could find for me. Again, Marcus sponsored this trip. Not a very good trip, I gotta say, but maybe the burrito will redeem that. So we'll start off with some nutrition facts here. You guys aren't going to be able to read that. You can't. That's really, that's good resolution. One gram of sugar, not bad. For all you Americans out there watching your sugar intake, total fat, 20 grams. Saturated fat, 6 grams. Trans fat, zero, ooh, zero grams. There we go. 680 mgs of sodium. That's kind of a lot, but you know what? It's actually not a bad amount for a burrito like this. Cholesterol, 20, yeah, we, don't, we don't worry about cholesterol. That's enough. That's enough of the, um, enough of the old nutrition facts. The main thing is that Marcus's Bean Burrito is a delicious burrito that can be enjoyed in any environment, such as a dusty old gaming chair. It's uh, it's a Furmax brand. Do not buy that brand on Amazon. It was cheap. I thought it would help my back, but I mean, no, not I meant. I mean that it's part of the. I'm, this is falling apart. I didn't plan this out very well. I'm in the Marcus's headquarters. That is a chair from Marcus's new chair company, Furmax, and this is Marcus's bean burrito. Doesn't it look great? Look at Marcus's bean burrito. Like it just it just presents really well. I think. Like that, that looks really good. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to chow down into this delicious burrito. So let's wait no longer. Now, normally when eating a burrito, you just pick it up. But Marcus has graciously provided me with a special utensil for the occasion. So we're gonna get a nice cross section of the burrito here. So I have this small knife. We're gonna go ahead and try to just cut it open. Just give it a give it a slice. There we go. It's, it's pretty good. Put the knife right there. Sure, that's probably safe. Always always point the blade towards yourself. That's how you stay safe with a knife. So let's take a look at the cross section of this delicious Marcus's bean burrito. Wow. Oh oh, see, the flavor is so impactful and delicious that it's trying to escape the burrito from the bottom end. You don't want that because that way you won't be. I gotta eat it. Huh? I got it. I got it. I got it before it fell out. I'll show you a lot of times the burrito flavor. There's just too much flavor packed into these Marcus's Bean Burritos. Like it tries to escape the bottom. But this is the cross section you want right there. You can see the beans and the cheese and the tortilla. And there's some more. It's trying to get out. Nope. Oh. It can't escape from me. This is actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Like I thought it was going to be cheap crap. It is cheap crap. It, it was. The price on the wrapper is like 87 cents from 7-Eleven. But hey, not bad. For Marcus's first foray into food, I don't expect greatness. I mean, this is this is about what I expected, and it looks bad, but the taste is good. So, let's take another bite, give you some more thoughts. Mm. Mm, one more bite. See how I move the camera close to simulate eating? It's very immersive. Oh, crap. I got some beef on my gaming chair. It's fine. So, overall thoughts. There is a lot of sodium in this bean burrito of Marcus's, but honestly, the sodium is good. Look, I, I want to keep eating the sodium. I know it's not the healthiest, but if you're buying an 87 cents burrito from 7-Eleven, is health really your goal? The answer is clearly no. Let's go for another bite. Mmm. I'm gonna finish off this half, actually. Say goodbye, half. No, please don't eat me. Oh, wait, no. Do eat me because I'm so delicious burrito. There we go. Ah. So that's one half down. Let's, um... Do you guys want a cross-section? Do you want a cross-section of this one? Is it filling? Ask the chat. Yes, it is very filling. I already feel full. I already feel like I don't need to even eat anything else for the rest of my life. That's just how filling Marcus's Bean Burrito is. But, at the same time, nothing's stopping you from eating, like, six of these bad boys, because they're so good. Like, they're, they're like bug snacks, you know? You shouldn't eat them, they're, but they're addicting. And they're really delicious. You eat this loudly? I'm just doing it for immersion. Look, watch how, watch how quiet this bite will be, right? This is going to be the quietest bite. It's 
see? Those, you didn't even hear anything, probably. You probably just heard, like, the air conditioning in the background, maybe. You didn't even hear the delicious bite. Also, I have a, I have a tripod from my phone, but I don't know where it is. So I'm going, I'm going handheld, which may, may get a little crazy. You want another cross section, okay. Get the knife back out. Gotta line it up. There we go. Ooh, Fa Farberware. I thought it said Faberware. Faber is a guy who worked on Bionicles. But that says Farberware. I'm viewing it through the phone right now, so it's kind of hard to get a good cut. Maybe if I use my actual eyes. Okay, we're making progress. This is not a sharp knife. This knife was very cheap. There we go. Actually, you know what? I should probably put the knife, like, over here. So I don't... Oh! Okay. Oh! <laughs> Uh, um, ha 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 ha, hey guys, crap, uh, this bean burrito review, um, we might have a bit of an ish, there's a problem, there's a problem with the knife, uh, well, I'm not gonna let a little incision on the hand stop the bean burrito review, so let's, um, ha hmm. uh, <laughs> this, this is, this is a big issue, honestly, you know what, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna get, let's get the burrito. Let's just go ahead and get the burrito. Out of the, let's just uh, get that out of the frame. Let's just get that. So that was the review of Marcus's bean burrito. Uh, Could have gone better. There is a problem we gotta deal with now though, and that is, I need a new pot of red paint. <laughs> Got him. Okay, that was the burrito. It spilled on the floor. It actually just spilled on the floor. Like, that. this was a joke, but it's on... Okay, this... <sighs> 25 days of Borderlands. <laughs> this looks like brain chunks. This is like... It looks like a JFK just got shot on this chair. Alright, um... I gotta clean my floor. <laughs> <laughs>